My husband's best friend is engaged and my husband's amazing ex will be at the wedding. My husband has a tight-knit group of friends from college. We are all 31. His best friend Tim just proposed to his girlfriend, and I'm really excited for them, but I'm not excited about my husband's ex Jenna. I am ashamed of how insecure I have become as a result of her presence overshadowing my marriage. She and my husband dated for a few years, then he got accepted to a grad program on the west coast, so they split amicably and remained friends because she didn't want to do long distance. He moved and we met three years later. After we got married, we moved to the east coast and bought a house, and our son was born last summer. Jenna is amazing. Everyone tells me so, my husband's friends, his family, and especially my husband. After we'd been married for a year, Tim told me that it was so weird that my husband ended up with me because everybody likes Jenna more. When I brought this up, my husband didn't disagree. My husband clearly views her as the one that got away and she has become the third person in my marriage. I have no animosity towards her, but I'm so frustrated with my husband's inability to move on. He swears he has moved on, but I really don't think he has. He has told me about the effort he put into their relationship, and the contrast with our marriage makes me so sad. For instance, he was so proud to plan a massive surprise party for her 21st, but he didn't even acknowledge my 30th. I would never go through his phone or anything like that, but I can tell when he's been talking to her because he gets really grumpy and complains about how much he hates our life and adulthood. About once a year he calls me Jenna, and this always prompts a big fight because he says we're both people he's been in a long-term relationship with and I shouldn't be offended to be in the same mental category as her because she's so amazing. We are very different. She is thin and blonde, I am a curvy athletic brunette. She earned a degree that actually makes money and I'm an English PhD. She is incredibly fun and energetic and I'm always tired because I'm bogged down by the responsibilities of baby slash pet slash house slash job. She loves to drink and I can't remember the last time I drank. She is also married now, and I doubt that someone so amazing would be trying to cheat on her amazing husband. When we were on the West Coast, Tim vetted him for my husband, who was grumpy to hear that Jenna's husband is nice, successful, and attractive. I think that my husband really misses the freedom of being in college and resents the adult responsibilities that I symbolize. Mortgage, baby, eating healthy. I feel so much shame and guilt about not being able to make him happy. Things have been rocky since our son was born. My husband has debilitating ADHD that renders him incapable of finishing chores or finishing feeding our child. And this has caused huge fights because I'm doing 95% of the household care and childcare. I have two part-time remote jobs and my husband works full-time. I often end up working from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m just so I can finish my work because I'm doing all the baby stuff. Jenna lives about 5 hours away and I haven't met her yet, but she will of course be invited to the wedding. Tim officiated our wedding and my husband will definitely be in the wedding party. I really don't want to be in the same room as Jenna. My husband is so grumpy after just messaging her. I can't even imagine how grumpy he would be and how awful I'd seem in comparison if he was talking to her in person. I'm still not used to my post-baby body and I look awful. I don't think she would cheat on her husband, but I think that seeing her for the first time in years would just cement for my husband that he regrets the path that his life has taken. I'm trying to think through options and choose the one that would cause the least drama. Option A, I talk to my husband about this, inevitably leading to another massive fight. Option B, I don't express any of this to anyone, and on the day of the wedding I feign illness. Option C, I talk to Tim's fiance, Anna, and ask her to seat us far apart. I hate to involve other people in this, and I think Anna would enjoy the drama of us sitting together. Plus this still doesn't prevent my husband from hanging out with Jenna. Option D, I explain to Anna that if Jenna is going, I will not be able to attend for my own mental health, but I will do something really generous for the couple and also take them out to dinner so that the four of us can celebrate their engagement slash marriage. I think Anna would just fan the flames of drama. I'm trying to emphasize that I have no ill will towards Jenna, and I don't want to deprive the group of college friends from a wonderful day of celebrating together and reliving the past. I just genuinely feel that my presence would ruin it for them and I would feel even more down on myself. My husband and I are in marriage counseling but he doesn't want to talk about anything that would make him sound like the bad guy so we just end up talking about how my anxieties and insecurities are burdensome to him. I am so sad and ashamed. I used to try to think of Jenna as this motivating standard to which I should aspire, but I always fall short. 